In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a QR code, which when people scan, it will go to your Amazon wishlist. So this is pretty easy and I'll explain everything in this quick video. So first, what you want to do is go to Amazon and you need to either create a list if you haven't already or go ahead and find one that you've already created. So once you're logged in, go to your account here in the top right, then go to your lists and then go to shopping list. Alternatively, if you want to create one, go to create a list. I've already got one created, so I'm going to go to shopping list. Now, I think it's called shopping list on here because this is what my list is called. Obviously, you will have your own name and your own lists here. So I'm inside of my list, which is called shopping list, and that just contains all of these. Now, what I want to do is share this with people via a QR. So what I'm going to do is go to share list to others. Then we can invite someone to view only this list and we can then copy the link. Now, just to check that this link is working, we're gonna paste this into an incognito window. So here is this list and people can go ahead and buy things on this list for me. Now, what we need to do is now create the QR code. So we've got that link copied. Now let's open a new tab and we'll head to Google. Now, what you can do here is type in QR code generator and there are a couple of different websites you can use. You can either use this one here, qr-code-generator or QR code monkey. I'm going to use QR code monkey for the video, but you can use any. Then paste in your list here. Then go ahead and choose the colors. You can change the colors here, the background and the foreground color. You can also add a logo. And if you go to customize design, you can change here the QR code. Really, this doesn't matter as long as your QR code is working. So I'm going to also increase the quality to the highest quality possible. Then we can go ahead and click create QR code. It's going to update it based on your settings. Then click download PNG and just wait here while your PNG downloads. Okay, so now it has downloaded it and here we can open it. And this is a fully functional QR code, which will now go to my shopping list and people will be able to add that to cart and buy it for me. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.